Happy Labor Day, everyone. Today is day 36, first month or first workout of month two, and it is the third fit test today. So I will post up the results of the third fit test. I will post up body shots. I probably will do a comparison body shot since uh, I had Sherry wear the same thing she wore on day one. Um, and just some quick facts or quick tips that I'd like to give you. First off, if you haven't had your heart checked uh, by a physician before you started this workout program and you might be worried about it, you might need to go to the doctor and check that out before you start month two because it's a butt kicker. I mean, first off, you do the, you, you do the fitness test, it's 25 minutes cause with the warm-up exercises, the stretching, the fit test, and the cool down. So once you get through with that, um, you bring up the second part of that DVD and to my shock or surprise or whatever you want to say, 56 minutes was on the timer. And up until this point, 42 I think was the longest for any of the first month exercises. So, you know, it's when you've already popped your heart doing the fitness test, um, you kind of it's disheartening immediately then when you see you have another hour to go before you're done um, honestly I cheesed half of the exercises for the first day I mean it just they were hard they were different they were very complex exercises some of them were not complex but by the time you've already done the fit test and you've got through the warm-up and you started the exercises for the second workout you are beat I mean I I felt like my heart was beating out of my chest. So, if you, I don't care how good a shape you are in, unless you are a machine, this thing is going to be hard for you. And and if this is just the start of month two, uh, and if it gets any harder, you know, I might I might die before I get to the end of this video series. Who knows? <laughs> but I can definitely see where people get the results. Um, the results seem like they would definitely come out of the second month of this exercise. You've got you spent the first month getting used to it, maybe getting your stretches, your muscles stretched, your muscles toned, getting used to doing a daily routine. And it wasn't till today that I realized that uh, I was not in shape. As much as I thought I was doing good, uh, these exercises totally kicked my butt. And if I ever, but the point is, it's difficult. It's hard, and it's not easy. And I think if you don't have your diet, um, if you don't have your diet down pat, like last night I went to my mom's house and we had some sausages and stuff like that, which of course totally was against everything that I've been doing for the last year and a half. But um, I was also raised not to be rude. If somebody makes you food, you eat it. Um, so we had all that food and then I woke up this morning feeling like crap because I had so much salt and sodium in my body. Uh, so I'm doing these exercises and I'm just like reeking of salt and things coming out of my body and, and it just came, became apparent to me that if you do not have your diet in tune by the time you get to month two, you're in trouble. Um, you're not going to have the energy to get through these exercises. And he keeps talking about in the videos, uh, the recovery, he's got a recovery formula I guess that he, he touts. It's some, you know, it's some program you have to pay for. Uh, I don't pay for it just because I figure you can do... Uh, pretty much anything that anybody will sell you, you can do it better from the produce department of your grocery store. Um, but if you can't and you got the money, then go ahead and get the recovery formula uh, or get some type of uh, supplement to your diet because you're going to need it for the second month. All right, so I've rambled enough. I will uh, let you go and have a happy Labor Day. We'll see you tomorrow.